rated M for mature. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Feel good, kick ass action comedy. I am so nauseous right now. You are part of the story. Just a crazy, fun thrill ride. The one thing we held on to is we wanted to make this the most fun, the most kick-ass, the funniest game that we've made in a long time. I was really glad that Telltale got to make Tales from the Borderlands and show you the rest of the, you know, the iceberg under the water. Yeah, the decision on where to set the story was an interesting challenge. Telltale had this really great idea for, you know, what happens in the aftermath of Jack. We wanted to touch on the after effects of his death and the legacy that he left behind. We wanted to cross into unknown territory into the future. It made the content meaningful and relevant to all of us following the storyline of Borderlands. Handsome Jack died. No, 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 no. That's impossible. We wanted to really delve into these locations. What is it like to interact with these people? What is it like to stop and look around? And what is it like to be a normal person in the face of a vault hunter? You're really cool. <laughs> I wanted you to know that. What drew me to Telltale, it's our character uh, interactions and our ability to flesh out characters either from franchises where you've met them before or establish new characters. So, what happened next? Uh, that was very interesting, trying to build a cast of characters that still feels like they're greedy and a little bit bandit-ish, but um, at the same time you still love them and they still like each other. We're friggin' team awesome! Bring it in, for the real thing, let's hug it out. Um, Don't no. look at me. Fiona is really confident, but she's internally a little lame at times, whereas Reese is externally lame most of the time. <laughs> Reese and Fiona are not vault hunters. They can't just run into a place, absorb a bunch of bullets, and get back out. They have to be sly about stuff. They have to be smart. Wait, wait, wait. Is this, is this <laughs> real or is this, a, is this a joke? It's your doom. Stop squirming! They're a bunch of losers. Everyone wants to be the badass, and few people are. I think there's something entirely relatable to both Reese and Fiona, like just trying to make a buck. You are a delight. But on to business. I propose that we form an alliance for the return of the funds. Mmm, capital! The robots we have in Tales from Borderlands took on a life of their own, and I feel like that was an amazing Edition. They were a great comedy duo. They're like Abbott and Costello. If Abbott and Costello were robots, one of them was a girl and the other one was insane. I, it was really, really hard not to put them in everything because they are the best. I love Gordis so much. <laughs> Come on, slowpoke! Time's all wasted! He's a. He's a. Oh, he doesn't. He's, he's not sleeping. Feeling yeah. He's sleeping. <laughs> Gordis is the sweetest little robot ever made. <laughs> it's some of the best comedy writing that I've come across across the board. Are my two favorite robots. I'm learning so much! How you lost ten million dollars? And how- Gee, thanks! I cannot hold back your tide of bad decisions. It's definitely up to the player if they want to be a hero, or if they want to be more of a villain. They can choose how dark they want to be. This is bad! You gotta let me into your subsystems, and I can uh, uh, almost guarantee no one dies. It's under control, Reese. Trust me. Handsome Jack's a fun guy to hang around with, and he says fun things, and, and, and it's a, you never know what's gonna happen next with that guy. Yeah, and if you didn't go with Handsome Jack, then go screw yourself. Damien is Handsome Jack. He, he completely is. Damien is Handsome Jack. That's kind of creepy. Except to my knowledge, Damien has never killed anybody. <laughs> the best part of my day. I'm so happy. I've known Troy and Laura for years. I learned things from listening to those guys. I'm blown away by it. There's an energy in the booth that I haven't felt on other projects. Like, everyone's excited to be there. They want to go to work. It seemed like everyone really seemed to get their characters from the get-go. And, and of course, it really helps with the immersion because you can fall on, you can fall in love with these characters or fall in hate with them depending on, on who it is. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to Vice Janitor. Hugo is a character that started out on the page as only showing up for a little while, and then we got Patrick Warburton, and then we're like, we have, we have to bring him back over and over again. Listen, I'm gonna go see if I got a shirt in the trunk, because your body is making me uncomfortable. Warburton was so good. Everybody 
was so good. We had a great cast. We really, really did. I think back to being able to record with other voice actors in person, getting to meet with them and work with them. It's gonna go, hold tight, hold tight but laughing too hard and not being able to get the words out. Like all of those memories have made this all a very unique experience. I'm just trying to keep it interesting. It's so rare that these kind of projects come up. It's so rare that you get awesome writing and also awesome people to work with and just characters that you identify with and attach yourself to so much. From the Gearbox perspective, it's really awesome to have such talented people get behind um, the franchise and get behind the universe and expand it with a completely different genre. You would have some question that we'd ask them, like certain architectural styles or things like that, and they'd be like, well, let's discuss it. We were helping them kind of carve out these new little corners of the universe, and then we'd see reflected in something like the pre-sequel. And so it was really, really cool to feel like we were part of building that universe, and they were so collaborative in that respect. We made a lot of bold decisions that would affect their canon going forward. My opinion was, hey, if it furthers the story and if it's great for the customer, let's let them go for it. You know, from a canonical point of view, it's, it's legitimate, it's authentic, and, and you know, we're connecting everything together in a way that, that I think makes sense for, for our audience. I would feel really upset if the fans felt that we weren't true to that IP. Trying to keep Borderlands feeling right, even if the gameplay style was different, that was more important than anything. I don't know what to tell to a Borderlands fan that's not, that it hasn't that hasn't picked up Tales from Borderlands. Maybe, maybe they shouldn't go around calling himself a Borderlands fan. Actually, one of my favorite things has been seeing, like, from the Borderlands fandom originally, you know, caring so much about all these established canon characters, the fact that they consider Reese and Fiona and Vaughn and Sasha and all, and all of our guys, like, part of that cast now is so cool. People would go on to forums and do all these different drawings of our characters and environments. We're seeing all the stuff they're putting out, all the things that they're responding to, and it's been fuel for us. The fans that have stuck with us this whole time, your fervor and enthusiasm has been huge for us. It's motivated us. I know that there's a huge number of Borderlands fans that are happier in this world where this exists than imagining the world where it never would have existed. And that, that's super gratifying to me. On one level, it was amazing watching the fans be excited. But on the other level, it's like knowing how much incredible hard work and love went into those things from the team. Like seeing each part get incredible reviews and reception just made me so happy for everybody who worked on it. Just seeing that response to episode five was so like incredible and amazing. And everyone who had ever been on Borderlands was just like, we did it! <laughs> Eddie, soldier. I'm gonna miss it. It's some of the most fun I've ever had, and probably will ever have, in my entire life. I don't want it to be over. And I'm gonna miss Dumpy. Hey buddy, how's it going? <laughs> Yo, you suck! Just enjoy yourself. Like, that's kind of the big takeaway. Take a moment to celebrate our swift and easy victory. I'm just so excited to be on this adventure with hey, you! Hey, why are you looking down there? It's like his wiener's talking. Oh, Reesey! <laughs> Turn off the cameras!